everyone, so I wanted to do a video talking about some shortcuts you can use on Paint Tool Sci, since this is the program that I used to draw in, and I use a lot of these shortcuts, and I plan to use a lot of these because I had to do some research for this video to find out some useful shortcuts, and I might start integrating these into my um, drawing sessions, and there's definitely a few super useful ones that I can't believe I haven't heard of until now. So I hope you'll find this video helpful. And um, the first thing I wanted to, to go over is just like all your basic shortcuts that kind of apply to most things. So of course, undo is control Z, redo is control Y, save control S, um, control A selects everything, control D deselects everything, cut is control X, copy, control C, paste, control V. Those are kind of common in most programs, so thought those would be useful. And there's also this keyboard shortcut menu that Sai has, and I don't know if it's just me, but I can't actually find every shortcut here. I can't find the ones that involve space and just specific ones, but there's lots of guides online that, that go through every single shortcut. And you can also customize them here by clicking on one that you want to set and then finding it here and clicking on it and then it will go there. But I don't want one there, so I'm just gonna press none. But you can customize them here, but I don't think every shortcut is in this menu, or at least I can't find every one. But if you wanna see the ones with shift, if you wanna see the ones with control, with alt, or with alt and control, this whole menu is here. It's under others, keyboard shortcuts. And also, um, before I get into any more shortcuts, you can actually set your tools to have their own customized button. So if you double click, you can name the tool anything you want. You can give it a description that will go below the tool. And if you want it to have a certain shortcut or you wanna see what the current shortcut is, you can put it down here. And then when you press that, it will take you to that tool. So I, ha I like to have brush as B, eraser as E. Um, I sometimes forget that I have these shortcuts set because you can use your keyboard or if you have a tablet with express keys, you can set your express keys to have your shortcuts on there as well. And there's something I just found out about too, um, which is like toggling tools, which I didn't know existed. And you go to tools, do enable tool shift. Mine was default like this. So basically what that means is um, say you're on your brush tool like this, and then you want to erase it. So usually if you just press E, well, my eraser is E. If you just press E, it will just switch to your eraser tool. But if you hold down E, so press E and keep holding it, you erase, you let go of E, it takes you right back to your brush tool. So if you want it to, to toggle like that or enable the tool shift, if that's the proper term, then you have to hold down the key while you're using it, let go and it takes you back to the tool you're already on. Some tools do that automatically, um, especially like if you press space, it gives you the hand tool and you let go. It goes to the space, back to your brush tool or eraser or whatever tool you were previously on. So that, that toggles automatically. But the other tools you actually have to press and hold to make them switch back to the tool you were just on. So I thought that was pretty useful information. So to zoom in, you can do control plus control minus or page up or page down. I don't have those on my keyboard, that's weird. <laughs> I had them on my laptop and not this keyboard. And you can also scroll with your mouse, I use this a lot. And say you're, you're zoomed in, if you do control space and then you right click, it resets it back to a normal zoom level. But of course that's also up here. That resets it back to normal. These little squares up here reset the zoom back to normal and the rotation back to normal. So that I use that, I use those a lot. If you press on the space bar, like I said before, it takes you to the hand, which you can move your canvas around. It's kind of like the same as this navigator, but your hand is the space bar. If you want to rotate, it's alt space. It takes you to your rotate tool. If you want to reset it back to normal, so like it takes you to your rotate tool, you use the left click to rotate it, but if you want it to go back to normal, you right click. I don't necessarily use that a lot. If I want to rotate, I'll just go up here and do that. And I also wanted to show you how to make a circle because there's no, this is just one way to make a circle because there are no shape tools in the first paint tool side. So you want to make a new line work layer, go to your curve tool. So you click and press delete and that ro delete rotates your canvas. So click, delete, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And you alternate between them and then double click to end it. Make sure you don't move your mouse in this process. And then you have a perfect circle and it's also like a vector circle cause it's on the line work layer. So you can make it whatever size you want and it'll have the same resolution. And if you don't want to distort it like this, 
um, hold down shift and it actually keeps its shape. This works for anything. Um, this is so useful. Most programs have this. I think, I don't know if Photoshop is shift. Most programs have, when you press down a key, it locks the the ratio or the, the it keeps the proportions so you don't accidentally make it like like off so so it remains perfect shape to what you had before. I also forget about this a lot but if you press tab it uh, gets rid of your panels or takes them back so tab and if you press shift tab it removes more and more things so there's like different modes to draw I guess so you have this you have this you have this and you also have that so this is like the most space to draw. If you if you have if you basically use shortcuts for everything, you could just have this as your work workstation and that would be so cool, but I don't have my shortcuts. I don't really know the shortcuts that well. I like to have my panels open. The eyedropper tool is um right click. It's one of those tools that that temporarily go to that tool and then it takes you back to the brush that you were just on. So if I click on the eyedropper and hold it down, I have the eyedropper tool and wherever I initially click it, it selects that color and then it takes me back to my brush tool. So that's right click. And I like to set that to be a button on my tablet pen. I always do this. I like to set it to be the front one. You can probably change that in your settings or you can do whatever you want. You could use the mouse to right click and it takes out that eyedropper tool. H is flip canvas, but it's also up here. So it inverts it and puts it back to normal. So H, I just found out about this and that is so useful because <laughs> I flip the canvas all the time. I kind of rely on it too much I flip it too often, but it's really good to see your mistakes. Flipping it allows you to see it with like a fresh set of eyes. And increase brush size or decrease brush size, use the square bracket keys. So that increases it, decreases it. I use those constantly. So if you're on the layer and you wanna move it, um, press down control and you can move it. And when you release it, it takes you back to the brush you were on. And this just works on the layer that you're on. But um, a friend told me about this shortcut and this is going to be life changing for me because if you hold down control shift, you can actually move stuff on any layer. You can move this around, this, this, you can just basically move anything you want around if you hold down control shift. That's so cool. And Photoshop does this automatically, like you can move around layers as you want, but for Paint Dulce, you gotta hold down control shift. And to bring up the actual transform tools, hold down control T. And whatever you're selected on or your whole layer will bring that up. And if you hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the layer, it selects everything in that layer. So as you can see, there's a little selection around there. Control D to deselect that. And I just found out about this too, which is in Photoshop. If you just press the arrow keys, but on Psy, you've got to hold down control and use the arrow keys and it actually nudges. You can like be really precise where you place things and control shift makes it move um, even more pixels. So I think control moves it one pixel and control shift moves it eight pixels at a time. So I'm definitely going to be using that from now on. So I hope these shortcuts helped you. I hope I chose a good selection of them. All the ones that I use are in that list as well as some that I plan on using in the future because I didn't know that they existed until like I started doing research about this video. So I really hope you found this helpful and if you have any really useful shortcuts that you want to share in the comments that would be really helpful for people and for me, anyone who's watching. It's always good to find like a cool new little hack for your drawing program. I always get so excited about that. So I really hope this was helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.